Hello and welcome back to the Spider's Web. In this video we're going to be doing another unboxing. And no, it's not Star Saga this time, we've finished those. Today we're doing an unboxing of a game that I got um, after Scrag has been mathering me for God knows how long to get it. <coughs> it's Doctor Who Exterminates the Miniatures Game. And here we are with uh, the box. Let's, uh, I've got a derelict on the front as you can see. Let's uh, slice it open and see what's inside, shall we? There we are. So, <clears throat> let's turn it around so we can have a look at the back of it. In the box we get uh, 12 Daleks, uh, 12 Cybermen, Cyber Legion Cybermen, uh, 14 plastic Cyber Mats, uh, double sided battle mats, card scenery, 34 recruitment cards, 56 adventure cards, 36 battle cards, 16 page rule booklets, 12 page adventures booklets, 24 page guide to the time vortex booklet, 10 combat dice, 2 quick reference sheets, card ruler and 59 card tokens. This is the war between the Cybermen and the Daleks as you may or may not have realised. So let us get it open and have a look at this little beauty shall we so <clears throat> here we are the guide to the time vortex and this is it with the scenarios in it uh, how to create a faction um, and we have the derelicts there how to put them together we have the cybermen here Again, how to put them together. General rules of weapons. <coughs> weapons table, competing species. And then we're going to scenarios. So I'll not look at those very far. Let's next, rather, let's have a look at the uh, adventures booklet. Um, again, this is some. Um, scenarios. Well, look at it. There we are. And we have the rules. They don't look incredibly difficult to follow. Then we have the uh, <coughs> turn order for the Cybermen and for the Daleks. And we have the weapons table as well. So they're both exactly the same, it's just that these have been designed a little more a little differently. Then we have the usual then we have the usual. Then we have the uh, catalogue of things that uh, Warlord games have produced. And now here we have the uh, sprue of Cybermen, another sprue of Cybermen, the dice, sprue of Daleks, another sprue of Daleks, a deck of cards, another deck of cards, one of the uh, miniature stands, and we have a paper mat. Uh, again this is double sided. What I will do is I will um, open this out and do the camp, do this freestanding afterwards. And then we have the tokens. And that's the ruler and various tokens. Obviously health tokens, targets and tokens, that kind of thing. I'm assuming not exactly certain but it's uh, all nice brightly coloured. And then we have the um, 3D, not sorry, not the 3D, the um, cardboard terrain. So we have pipes, uh, looks like a little room, the TARDIS, and then here we have rocks and a cave and some form of what looks like a landing strip of some description. 
another area. That is the gear, and we have in the bottom of the box another one of the grey um, theme bobs, um, miniature bases. So I'll pop these back into the box. And I'll just pause the video, well, I'll just open up the mat and let you have a look at this properly. Won't be a second. You can see it's not square. You can see, I know it's not square because this table is square and this hangs over. Um, the playing surface is square. Um, I may have to trim this bit off uh, to make it square. Who knows? But. Um, I mean from here that's the um, playing surface this bit here I'm not sure what it is I don't know whether it's a, like um, a turn counter what we can see that but let's say from this outside edge here that's the um, <coughs> that's the playing surface so this one's like some form of industrial landscape <coughs> and on the other side we have oh, a desert landscape, uh, landscape. Um, so you know I could always get an actual play mat of uh, both the terrains so instead of using this one because I can see this one actually uh, getting a bit worn because with it being paper where the creases are, especially where these uh, cross pieces are uh, getting a little bit worn and damaged over time. Um, but there we are, that is the um, playing mat and it folds up quite easily as you can see. Okay, so here we are with the Cybermen. First off, we have variant arms, the uh, variant style of legs as well. Um, looks like the arms just slot on, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They just slot on and stay there. You can pause them, or can just move up and down. Um, but obviously they are going to be glued, they're not just going to stay um, loose. Um, no, not quite sure <coughs> about these other little grey things, what I thought were from, uh, were, what I thought were the bases, don't seem to be, so I'm not quite sure what they are, but there's one sprue of Cybermen and here is the other even if exactly the same sprue not much difference in them but as you can see a little decent enough quality there's not a detail in them so I hope you can see that I haven't got me reading the letters on so I can't see whether it's in focus or not <laughs> Next we have the Daleks, these are three piece models and got the two sides and the front. Um, yeah, quite nice, I just have to work out what colours I'm going to paint these because they, are, uh, they have set colours. Red, yellow, the blue, green, gold. Well, I'll find out. I will have a look and uh, do them when I get round to it, hopefully fairly soon. Uh, again, more Daleks. Two sprues exactly the same. Um, so what would happen is when these get put together that will push into the, and then the front will just slide on. And that will be it. There we are. Next, the dice. <clears throat> now, to be honest with you, I know nothing about this game. I've seen it 
Um, oh, I know I knew of it, but I haven't actually seen it played or anything. But the dice, quite nice to handle. They're not too small, not too big. Comfortable in the hand, rounded edges. Yeah, roll pretty well. On the dice, you get that icon, that icon, uh, and that icon. I think that's it. Yep. And they're all the same dice, there's no difference. <coughs> and you get ten of those. And there we go. I'll pop the well, back in the dirt. Bag. <coughs> <coughs> And now we'll have a look at the cards. Um, so let's get the books out in the hope that it tells me what the cards are. Okay, I'll look at the rules book, see if they will tell me. Um, <coughs> Metal mats, mm -hmm. new. It doesn't tell me. Does the Avengers book tell me? Nope, it doesn't actually say. How about this book? The uh, Guide to the Time Vortex. Uh, it shows me the pictures of cards in use, but it doesn't tell what they are. Um, That's what they are. These little things on the Cybermen. Things are uh, Cybermats. And back and show you. These little flippity gibbets there. One, two, three. Ah, but never mind. Let's just get them open and have a look. Um, I'm not sure what the cards are, but we'll have a look at them anyway. So, they all have like, different backs and fronts. I don't know whether they're all supposed to, but let's have a look. I'm not going through all of them. And we have so, the leader, got a battle card. Okay, so the battle cards have the I think on adventure cards have that on and that Okay, adventure cards. I'll tell you what, let's sort these out first and then we can go through each particular deck. That might be the best way of doing it. Okay, so we have three decks of cards. <laughs> so I'll have a look at the battle cards first of all. Um, and these just have the uh, symbols that are on the dice. Um, without knowing how the game is played or having seen the game I'm not sure how these work but that's all that's on those cards. Okay so I'll pop those to one side. Next we'll have these cards and these are the uh, character cards shall we say for want of a better word. We have the Silence, Silent Veterans, the Jadoon, Jadoon Enforcers, Silent Leader, Jadoon Leader, Zygon, Zygon Elite, Zygon Leader, Wilfred Mott, Donna Noble, Martha Jones, Rose Tyler, The Doctor, Clara Oswald, Strax, Jenny, Jenny Flint, uh, Madame Vastra, The Doctor, Dalek Patrol, Dalek Patrol, Dalek Patrol, Dalek Patrol, Dalek Patrol, Dalek Patrol, uh, Patrol Leader, Cybermat Swarm, Cybermen, 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 uh, Cybermen and Cybermats, uh, Cybermen and Cybermats, and Cyberleader. There we are. Next we have the adventure cards. And these look like this. We have rapid response to arms, medicate, some terrain blaster, combat senses, sword. Shield of Steel, Harangue, 
energy pistol, energy rifle, a guardian distracting gabble, time winds, timey wimey, adjust time, I'm over 2000 years old, sonic device, am I a good man, reverse the polarity, spatial distortion, request reinforcements, finish them, lucky hit, additional sensory input, regenerate, poison barbs, personal regeneration, R1Z, sonic device, if you attack first my conscience is clear, eternal optimist, medical training, chin up, shoulders back, let's see what you're made of, uh, just what this wants, everybody lives, I fought in a bigger world than you will ever know, electrical discharge, conceal identity, call for help, friend or foe, the Zygon reinforcements, Judoon Executioner Pistol, Scanner, You're Under Arrest, Ricochet, Judoon Rockets, Silent Reinforcements, Judoon Reinforcements, <coughs> Electrical Discharge, Hypnosis, It's a Thing That Goes Ping, Adapted Tech, I'm the Doctor and I'll be your victim this evening, Distraction, You Had a Choice, Remember That, Enhanced Strength, and finally Duty of Care. So that is what we have in the line of uh, adventure cards, uh, and well, in fact, that's what we have in the line of everything in the game. Um, I will be getting these uh, made up, and uh, let's see what we have in the line of uh, minis for this, and uh, hopefully, we'll get to, it'll be a good game. But. As I say, that is all we have time for for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.